What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel, another Clash Royale video. We're doing it a little early today, um, got up feeling good, and we went 3-0 last night, and I played four more matches, went 3-1, and so we're up to six wins in the Grand Challenge with this deck. We took out the Hog Rider and put in the Ice Spirit, so it's just a Three Musketeer Barbarian Hut deck now, and, uh, you have the Ice Golem for, like, a Lightning Rod. If someone's playing Lightning against you, basically... The Barbs have more health than the Three Musketeers, and the Ice Golem have more health than the Three Musketeers. So if they're playing Lightning, when these two mus two Barbarians come out with the Barb Hut, drop an Ice Golem uh, right there, um, you know, and then the Three Musketeers right there at the river, and they can't Lightning. There's nothing really they can do. And if they someone running like, you know, Minion Horde or Valkyrie or anything, use that Ice Spirit to hit it right when it crosses the bridge, or, if you split your Musketeers, like I usually do, um, send an Ice Spirit with the Solo Musketeer, and that Musketeer can take literally half a tower by itself with the Ice Spirit. Or maybe even more, it'll take like, you know, uh, three-fourths of the tower with the Ice Spirit. Without the Ice Spirit, it'll still take like a thousand health off. So, let's go ahead and finish this Grand Challenge, see how we do. Feeling good, glad you guys are here with me. As you guys know, I do all live battles, and, um... I don't, I don't cut out losses. So this is a weird little starting hand here. We took 500 damage, but he did spend a lot of elixir. We spent four, he spent seven. So he's got to be pretty low. We got a barb hut out. We're 500 damage, but we have a barb hut out. So I'm not, not really too sad. And he just wasted a log on two barbarians, so... Hopefully these barbs come out to distract. Arrows, get it. Arrows, get it. Nice, okay. So we're not going to really do anything about that. He just messed up. He don't know it yet. Two barbs and three musketeers. Unless this clown has a... Uh, that ice spirits to like help anything... I mean, this dude's done, right? Like, he has no idea what how bad he just messed up. Even with these two musketeers, he better get something on them quick. Yeah, that tower's done. <laughs> I love, love this deck, man. Um, you know, someone, there's so much lightning bait. Like, he hit that, yeah, he got my uh, mega minion. He got the bar pot in the tower. And he's like, man, what great value. But, the thing is, we had that elixir advantage, too. I mean, look at the barb head. It's still got so much health. Like, what's he going to do? So I'm going to show you, since I'm pretty, like, I feel pretty in control. Also, use the ice golem to, like, distract, and then you can kill things. Um, Alright, we're not going to play. I want to show you the lightning rod um, thing I was talking about. So we're going to split the musketeers up. We're going to run two to the left, one to the right, and play the ice golem with... Oh no, they all went the same direction. This isn't good. And my lightning rods uh, moved. This isn't good. Okay, see, it worked. See, I still have two musketeers. Look at that one musketeer taking it all out. We're just going to send two archers with that. Anything that can tank for a couple archers is usually pretty strong. Okay, so, if you want to split your musketeers after you've, um, taken it up, it didn't work. Usually you have to, if he lightnings here, okay, perfect. See, I still have one musketeer left. We just gotta hold, really, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, good game, buddy. We almost took that right tower, too, so, yeah, um... The deck's basically kind of about baiting out the lightning. Ooh, someone just joined. Who joined? Oh, Major MM's back. Hopefully he doesn't leave this time. I love loyalty. If you guys want to join, if you're a loyal person and you want to help build build this, we have a very good team here. Especially our top, like, 25 players are all over 3,000. And then, um, this guy here, Arya, he's a level 11. Probably one of the higher rated level 11s in the game. Discipline wants to join. 4,600 trophies. Wow, wonder if he's real. All 
All right. Hopefully he stays. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping to build a really good team. And I want everyone to, like, live or um, friendly battle. And what we're trying to do is build, like, a good tournament challenge. All that stuff. A good team to play and all this stuff. So the bar putt's my favorite starting hand. I like to just drop that bad boy. All right. And it basically forces them to react. Now, I hope that those two barbs can take down... I, uh, I didn't mean to do that. That was a wasted fireball. I did not need to do that. Um, I was worried he was going to lock onto my barb hut. His problem. Okay, both towers were shooting that, so... That's all I was worried about. Okay, he just messed up. I'm just going to run a predictive log in case he's got skeleton army. Okay, it turned out to be a bad log, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, we took down... You know what? We took down that. He just spent 9 elixir on all that and didn't get much, so... He's got someone watching, too, probably telling him what I'm doing. I'm assuming he's behind an elixir. We're going to wait and find out. We'll find out. Um... So he's got fireball. He's running fireball. I did not... That was probably not a good play of the archers. I should have just... Uh, I should really fireball that tombstone. There we go. That tombstone's gonna die. He might play something else with that mega minion. I'm thinking that Ice Spirit should kill. Yeah, I was right. So he's running this all air deck, so it's not an easy deck for me to beat, really. But I think I can beat it. So, uh, it's double elixir time now, so we're going to start splitting these musketeers up. And I think that's where we're going to get our... Okay, so you just um, play that, so we're going to go here. I'm going to send the uh, Ice Spirit in. So he just wasted. Now watch this uh, Ice Golem. Look. Now I've got all my good stuff hitting it. Look, we got damage on the right too. Two Mega Minions. So I got these two with that. Oh no. Oh, good log. Good log. Good log. I should have known better. That's my fault. Kind of a bad barb hut, but... Like, these barbs also distract all this stuff. Like, look, it's distracting... It's distracting that, um, Inferno Dragon. Um, I just... I panicked because I was at full elixir and I just dropped those three muskies. He's got a perfect fireball target if he takes it. Look at that, yep. Alright, good job, good job. Okay, now we've got a good, we've got a very good, okay, yeah, we're down to spell cycle range, so. And we got a big push, look at that push on the left. He's forced to fireball. That's okay, though, because we're in, like, spell cycle range. We're gonna go ahead and, I'm kind of just having fun, but I could just fireball and, uh, I don't want to end it yet. I could just spell cycle, fireball, log, fireball, or just two fireballs, which we're gonna start to do now. I can drop all these three elixir cost cards and then a one elixir cost card and get right back to the fireball. So, no sense in taking any chances. But I was in control the whole game. I really wasn't worried about it. That's why I, uh, if I saw anything scary coming, I could always cycle that 3-3-1. Three, three, so, I had a 3-3-1 three, three, cycle to get back to my fireball. So, that's what's great about having those three elixir cost cards in there.
I'll make Discipline an Elder if he's going to stay. If he's at 4,600 trophies, we got to keep people like that happy. Um, so, we'll make him an Elder for now. That's why Arya is a co-leader, because um, I haven't even known Arya that long, but... Okay, this is like kind of like a bad, bad cycle for us. So, we're going to let him make the first move. Does it get? I mean, that the, you gotta admit when I didn't have my bar putt, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good right there. Um, oh, if that princess wouldn't have got that shot off, I would have got it. Um, we used three, four, five, six, and he used um, he used seven. So I want to get this bar putt out early because the hog's coming. Alright, that wasn't good. Oh no. Oh, there goes our bar putt. They got a stab in too. It's very bad, that, but that's okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get calmed down. Find out what this clown has. I'm forced to fireball that princess because I don't want to. See if he keeps the pressure on me like this. Watch this. This is a great counter. Doink. Alright. He keeps pressure on me like this, and I don't have time to get my bar putts and three muskies up. It's pretty rough. I'm not even going to play. He'll get two hits. I need to get my bar putt up. That's why I'm, like, playing chill. So he's got that minion horde also. I haven't seen a fireball or anything like that. If he runs a ice spirit here, I'll be mad. Alright, he's getting good damage in on me, but I've got a barb head up now, so that's going to help me a lot. I mean, we're ahead in damage, too. Get a swing in. Get two swings. Aw. Oh. I'm satisfied with that, but we're going to lose our barb head, I think. It's not good. It's okay, um, we'll put our bar pup back up, and then we're going to start splitting three muskies. Oh, that wasn't good. It's okay. We're going to start splitting the three muskies. I have not seen yet. That might be a tower. Hmm, good log. We can spell cycle though. So we got a lot of juice coming. And we get to uh, spell cycle, so we just need a another. Um, we just need a. Oh, there we go. So guys, you're seeing the deck in action. Like it really, it's very powerful. Like if you get the bar pot up, that protects you long enough to get the three muskies out. Now, a lot of people like running with the hog, but that makes it a 4.3 deck. Like this, it's still pretty expensive, but it's only 3.9. I just feel like it's more functional as a three musketeer deck than with the um and honestly you could even run zap instead of log and it would be a zero legendary deck how crazy is that um and i i thought about making it zap anyway because here's the thing with log log's great it's a princess princess counter but we got the fireball yeah you take a minus one elixir cost but sometimes you have to do that you can even fireball a goblin barrel if you have to but what you can do is um put the zap in there it's very good against the skeleton army like uh the log's great too but if there is a deploy time in the log, the zap's pretty much instant. So let's just keep going. I don't know if you guys like the longer videos, but, um, you know, I mean, I, I enjoy just playing. So let's, uh, so this guy's from Crucible Wrath, so he's going to be very good. This might be our first loss of the video. Um, Crucible Wrath members are, um, very skilled. That's a very high level, um, clan, trophy pushing clan.
he's not making a move either. Alright, and we're playing the giant bowler. Or some form of a bowler deck. I hope he doesn't have lightning on him now. Alright, he's probably going to run fireball or something. Ah, oh, I'm so bad. At least it's not hitting my barb hut, though. Oh, I'm so bad. Now it's a wasted ice golem. Oh, I'm so bad sometimes. Am I going to have to log this night? That night would wreck my tower. Well, she's going to skeleton army the right side, and I don't have anything to stop it. I'll just let that happen. Wow, he's still got an archer. Alright, so, giant bowler, giant bowler, giant, or no, it's not giant bowler, it's just bowler, knight. He could be playing expo, but he hasn't dropped it yet. What's he playing with this, this combo? That's okay. He's got fireball though, so we've got to be mindful of that. Damn it, I just gave him a fireball target, but it's very hard to not give someone a fireball target with this. He just gave me a fireball target too. I feel like I haven't been letting that fireball go enough. That's what that ice spirit's for. Now he has to fireball that. Now we've got two huts and he doesn't have his fireball up. We might be able to start getting damage in here. And he doesn't have his fireball up. No. Oh, but I thought Ice Spirit would have got ahead. We'd have been in good shape. What's he going to play? The bowler is very good against what I'm running. I need to fireball these archers. I'll take a draw even. This guy's a skilled player. I'll take a draw if I have to. Oh no, please separate. No! Oh, thank you. I will take a draw. We're pretty even right now. He did just use fireball, right? I could try this. It's very risky, though. But he did just use fireball, right? How has he got fireball back already? That might just cost me the game right there. Wow, the bowler retargeted. Like, what the hell? Alright, that's going to be game, I think. I think he's got me here. I just got to hang on for a couple minutes, really. Oh no, he's got me. Yeah, he's got me. God damn it. Graveyard's the biggest bullshit card in the game, man. And I don't have it. I spent 
So much money trying to get that damn card, and I still don't have it. I'm not going to end it off like that. If I'm going to end it off like that, I at least want to open the chest for you guys. But that's just why Graveyard is so stupid. I was perfectly... I, I let that game go, though. It was my own fault. I got tilted. Graveyard Bowler. Oh, God. That's all right. I'm not that guy. I'm not the guy that complained. I mean, obviously, those decks do take skill, but Graveyard is probably the easiest card in the game to use, I would say. Because you just put a tank in front and then let the graveyard, it just does work, man. Yeah, you can like pre pre fire um, fireballs and stuff. All right, got a lava hound deck. Alright guys, I'm back full time now. Let's get this. I probably didn't even need that. We got damage coming on the right too. Look at that. Full Musketeer. I haven't seen a Fireball or a Lightning yet. Alright guys, we're down to spell cycle range. And we did it. There we go. 10 wins, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry the video was kind of um, interrupted by the dogs, but uh, we got 10 wins now. Let's see if we can get 11. It's a long episode. I might have to cut it up, um, but I don't want to cut out that loss. If I do, I'm going to let everyone know that I did take that L. So it's a Barb Hut, Mirror Match. He's probably going to be playing Hog Rider with it, so I'm going to get this ready. Alright, that's not good. He got th this hog damage in on me. But, he just hit us with that fireball. So, you know what that means. We know what deck he's running. I still think we got decent damage in. That log was totally wasted, but... We got damage on the left, too, and he don't. Are we gonna get swings on his bar putt? Look at that! We got swings on his bar putt! No way. He knows he's got to save that fireball. Wow, he's going to use the fireball.
So we got I'm trying to pay attention. I know the I know the hog's coming. I tried to predict the hog right there. Didn't do a very good job. So I'm gonna send this to the left because that's gonna be my tank when I split these three muskies. Alright, good. We clipped both. He had to use the fireball right there. So I think we're in good shape now. So now we gotta send him down both sides. Here comes the, um, the Mega Minion on the right. No, he uses Ice Golem. What's he gonna use on the left now? We're in spell cycle range, boys. Good game, well played. So that's the hog deck versus my three musketeers deck, guys, on a 10-win player, 11-win player. So it's obviously a good deck, the deck right here. So without it, and I could actually say I built this deck because I haven't seen anyone else playing it. Everyone runs the hog rider with this deck. Just like that guy just played, everyone runs that style of the deck. But instead, I'm a three musketeer. I, I rely more on the three musketeers than the... Uh, Hog Rider. So we're going for the 12 wins right here, guys. Going for 12 wins. Blah. Cheer me on. We'll go ahead and share that last battle with the with the team. Alright, guys. If we don't get 12 wins, we still got a lot of gold. And a lot of cards. But this is for 240 more cards. This is for like 25% more cards. And another 4,500 gold. That's half of a level um, 10 upgrade. So it's a pretty big deal. Or like a level uh, like a level 8 rare. Claim someone from Fenton Kittens. That's Fen Cat's uh, family clan. Let's see what they're running to get all the way up here at 11 wins. Going for the 12. Alright, Furnace. Which... Um, I can't stand. You know what? I don't even care about the tower damage. I just want that furnace out of here. Because it will just chew up my barbs, man. So here comes this mega minion. Hopefully that hits my tower and not my barb hut. Alright, good. I don't think we took too much damage. I think we did alright. He took our barb hut down though. But we have a full health mega minion and a full health barb coming his way. He's gonna have to answer that. And he does it perfectly. Can we get a shot in on that um... Nah, damn it. So we're playing a barb hut right into a furnace which isn't ideal. I haven't seen him play a fireball or a lightning yet though so I'm not totally um... You know... I'm not too too sad if I see a I'm not sure yeah see how it keeps the giant away they probably saved me like another hit or two would log clear that out I doubt it we're just gonna go for it now our barb had slow enough health so if he does fireball us it's not gonna be the end of the world he's a little ahead in damage All right, we're taking that down. And we're gonna get a little damage in. Here comes the um, three muskies. Split them up right here. We're gonna use this to tank. So that way, um, not the best. Wow, it still hit. Look at that damage we're getting on the right, though. 
I mean, we're almost... You can almost say we're down to spell cycle range. And on the left, he's got to answer that. We're doing a great job of making him answer. Oh, that would have been great to get that Mega Minion. So we just got to, like, be smart here. Play the Barb Hut. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted. Go ahead and play your, um... Ah, uh, we got it, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, we got it. 12 win challenge, baby. Let's go. Let's go with the deck we made. Good game. Well played. With the deck we made. Let's go. All right. So we took most of it from top, no top notch. But we're playing it without the hog. We're playing it. This is like a real three musky deck. So let's go and open this bad boy chest up here. 22k gold. 8 rockets. 11 hog rider. 12 Mega Minion, that's great. That gets us back to where we were before we gave like 12 away today. 100 Tesla, 112 Tesla, 34 Wizard. I got a level 5 Wizard. I don't even use it. It's just a terrible card in my opinion. 45 Valkyrie. We need some Epics. 866 Barbs, let's go. 11 Tornadoes, that's great. We got a Tournament Cap Tornado. Is that a Legendary? I think so. 11 Epics, I believe, is a Legendary card. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a Lumberjack, but we still got a Legendary. Awesome. I'm just happy to get a Legendary. Uh, I wanted the Graveyard really, really bad. But, guys, this is how you get cards in the game is um, these challenges. I'll be doing the um, Double Elixir Challenge for tonight's video. But um, this is the best way to... Um, I don't have that many went, um, cards won. I got 15,000 cards won. And, um, that's pretty good, but there's people, uh, Tag Your Pregnant from Clout Gaming, I think he's in Clout, has 200,000 cards won from these challenges, because figure if you play, like, three or four a day, and you get 12 wins often, or 10 wins, um, uh, average even, then you're getting, you know, a few thousand cards a day, so it adds up quickly, but thank you guys so much for watching, teamwork does make the dream work, smash that thumbs up, and we'll be streaming as soon as possible, hopefully on YouTube, but if not, we're gonna go to Twitch, I can't stop streaming, I love it too much, thank you guys so much for watching this 12 win grand challenge, let's go, see you guys in the next video later tonight, peace!